Ah, here we are in Bandra West in Mumbai in India. And have a look at this. I'm stood here on a rooftop and just looking around here, it's such an amazing, vibrant city. But something I really find amazing is having a look at the greenery, which you don't see in lots of cities. But here, very lucky to be standing in one of the suburbs, quite a wealthy suburb, and they've got here a roof terrace, which is something that is quite rare in areas like this. And when you're actually having a look around, you can see lots of high-rise buildings, not no space for gardens. Um, Mumbai, very densely populated with over 25,000 people per square kilometre, meaning lots of people living in close confinement in this area. Um, but when we look at Mumbai, Mumbai has grown rapidly since its independence from the British colonies and it's grown rapidly with people moving from rural areas to urban areas, so rural to urban migration, and it's become a mega city, meaning it has more than 10 million people living in Mumbai. It's got over 12 million people meaning that it is a mega city. And why has it grown so rapidly? So when we look at reasons for this, we look at either push and pull factors. So push factors are reason for people to be pushed away from the areas. So that could be, for example, a natural disaster or war. People are pushed away. Or pull factors where people are attracted to an area. And so when you're looking at reasons why people are being pushed away from different areas in India, main reasons are looking at agriculture. And where areas are becoming too arid, it's very hard to grow crops. People cannot do that work anymore. They're having to be pushed out of the area and then they're in search of work. Another good reason is, um, is actually mechanisation of, of agriculture, where we now have lots of tractors, lots of good infrastructure, meaning we don't need as many labourers working on the farms, meaning people no longer actually have to work in those areas. People have pushed out and have to look for work in Mumbai. And the last reason is a lack of services, lack of doctors, lack of schools, lack of basic infrastructure that people need, meaning that people are pushed out in search of those services. That then brings me on to the pull factors for Mumbai. Now, Mumbai has grown in terms of its IT, its media, um, in terms of jobs there. Lots of people are now attracted to move there in search of those brilliant job opportunities. You've got call centres, people want to move in search of those jobs. Now, something that can happen though with that is that idea of bright light syndrome where people are attracted to these areas in search of work. However, they don't actually have the good education um, and skills you actually need. And that then can result in people looking for jobs because they can't, they've got nothing back where they've just where they've moved from. They then can't get a job and that then means that they have to then look and live in different areas. And that we'll look at in other videos, looking at the growth of Dharavi as a, as a slum in Mumbai. Another reason is good education. People will move to Mumbai so their children can be educated, good universities, great opportunities for their children. That pull factor being attracted to Mumbai. Okay. And the last reason is wages. People get paid a lot more whilst in Mumbai, so there's good opportunities for people if they're able to get jobs to come and earn a good living. So they're pulled, they're being attracted to Mumbai. But wow, what an amazing place. It's got great atmosphere. It's obviously very vibrant and I look forward to exploring Mumbai over the course of the next few days. Some great geography in action.